This is a video about installing the CAD Query module for FreeCAD um, on Ubuntu Linux. Uh, you'll notice that I'm using Lubuntu, but I'm going to do as much as possible from the terminal so that it, uh, the knowledge can be transferred directly between diff the different flavors of Ubuntu, whether it's regular Ubuntu or Kubuntu or Zubuntu or whatever. Um, most of this knowledge um, should be, uh, you should be able to adapt it for other Linux distributions as well. Um, the PPAs probably you know won't transfer to certain distributions and things like that, but uh, the general knowledge will. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, CAD Query is a CAD scripting language, and it's a, a very powerful and concise language for generating uh, parametric CAD models. Uh, so you have parameters that drive uh, different attributes of your model, and you can have one parameter make uh, make large changes uh, to your model. Uh, it's a very efficient and effective way to create models that um, you have to change frequently and you can drive them with simple parameters like a single uh, a single variable can change a lot of different things about a model. So uh, to start with um, we will install FreeCAD. Um, the repository uh, in Ubuntu has FreeCAD available, um, but I like to go with the, the FreeCAD stable releases PPA uh, so that I can get the latest stable, re always get the latest stable release of FreeCAD. Um, there's also the daily builds PPA, uh, but that's a lot riskier because things can break uh, between releases on that. But if you want the absolute latest version of FreeCAD, uh, this is a really good place to get it. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and start with the stable PPA. I've already installed FreeCAD on here since it takes a little while. Uh, so to start off with, I did um, uh, sudo and then add apt repository, and then I give it the name of the PPA. So it's the FreeCAD maintainers, FreeCAD stable. And it's already been added, so it won't add it again. Um, then after that, you have to do a sudo apt-get update so that uh, what's available in the repositories is updated so that when you go to install uh, FreeCAD, apt-get will see the latest version. Once this completes here, we'll do the FreeCAD installation. Um, so, and then you just do an app get install FreeCAD like you would if you were installing the standard version that comes with Ubuntu. Of course, it already it says that FreeCAD is already the newest version here because I already have it installed. Um, so once that's installed, uh, you can actually go and you can grab the uh, CAD Query FreeCAD module. Uh, you could click download zip here if you want the latest release of the module, but I would recommend um, going to, or the latest commit, sorry, not the latest release, uh, but uh, if you want the latest stable release uh, that's been well tested, you can come here to um, releases or release, and then the only release so far has been zero, uh, version 0 0.1.8 which that version number is is locked with the actual CAD query library, uh, which is also at version 0.1.8. Uh, so I'll go ahead and download the zip file here. Let's go ahead and save it. Um, and then once that's uh, been downloaded, I want to extract the archive. So let's... Um, go into my downloads folder here and I see that the zip file is there you could have done the tar GZ archive as well um, but I'll unzip the CAD query free CAD module so you see the directory is now in here I'll go ahead and CD into that directory um, and once I'm in there I want to copy this CAD query directory that's in here to the FreeCAD mod folder, which is where all the, the modules and their associated workbenches are. So uh, further up, 
and get back to it here. The reverse search didn't work. Um, so I'm going to do sudo cp and dash r for recursive copy. I'm going to copy the that cat query directory that I highlighted in this uh, user lib free cat mod directory. Uh, that's one of the standard locations for the FreeCAD installation when you install from the repository. Um, if you, of course, if you compile FreeCAD from scratch or um, you're on a different distribution, it may end up in a different location. But if you look at the uh, CAD Query README, or the, sorry, the CAD Query FreeCAD module README, which um, is what you see here, or you go to the wiki. Um, there are these standard installation locations that you're most likely to find uh, your FreeCAD installation in. So if I go ahead and do that copy, that copy seems to have completed successfully. Um, and then we're actually ready to test the module. So uh, under Lubuntu, we end up with FreeCAD installed in a couple different places. And it's installed under the graphics menu and the education menu. Um, but I'll go ahead to the, they, they should be the same version, so I'll just use this one. Notice it installed uh, version 0 0.14. So now when FreeCAD starts up, if you come up to the Workbenches menu, you'll see a CAD Query Workbench in here. And if you select it, you'll get, uh, on a, at least on Ubuntu, you'll most likely get this no module name QT network error. So if I come back here to uh, the CAD Query Free CAD Module GitHub page and I go to the wiki, there's a troubleshooting section here uh, where we actually address this uh, because this is a very common error. So it uh, gives me the line to run here. And I'll go ahead and close FreeCAD down here when I run this because I'm going to have to restart it anyway. Okay, so that installed. So we'll go back to FreeCAD. And then select CAD Query again. It takes a little bit, but it loads up here. And you'll notice that the first thing it does is it loads an example. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea of uh, the language and the features here. This is very simple. It just creates a box. Um, but uh, you will see that the uh, there's a CAD Query menu that's added up here uh, where you can create a new CAD Query script um, that kind of just has some, some template um, code in there. Um, you can open a script that you've already created, save, save as, um, and close the script. There's also this examples um, section here, which is really handy. It's got a lot of different examples that uh, CAD Query uh, community members have created, including Lego Brick, uh, which is pretty cool, uh, that I, I'll do uh, um, a walkthrough of in a future video. Um, but this is a good place to get started. They kind of, in general, will go from um, the simpler to the more complicated as you go down in general but um, and um, then these last two options down here in the menu one is for execute the script so if I let's say I open this you know simple block here um, if I make a change to it and make this like 180 um, I come down here and I can hit execute script you notice it's also uh, the key F2 is the shortcut for this but I can hit execute and it executes the code that's over here and renders it in the 3d view and then the clear output all it does is it clears the report view down here which is gives you information about uh, what uh, the module is currently doing so that's all uh, thanks for watching and uh, i will place some links in the description below and please don't hesitate to ask any questions thanks